Okay, prepare yourself, guys. Chris with T3 Media's in. I'm going to give you my spoiler-heavy review of uh, Baywatch, the movie, because, I mean, I don't give a fuck. I mean, this, uh, I'm going to just go straight into it. Everybody knows I love The Rock. He's a dear, dear friend of mine. But Dwayne Johnson had no business making this movie. I don't know what this movie was supposed to be at all. I before I went in there, I I tweeted out how it was funny that like literally like like minutes before I was about to watch the film, I caught on Collider. I had a Collider alert that the movie was was uh, terrible and these and the three main guys that uh or the two or two of the main guys that I really really appreciate and, and 9 times out of out of 10 I'm on the same page with both on the same sheet of music with the fact that the movie was horrible and um i i don't know what this movie was trying to do as that that from the very beginning i mean the the cheesiness of it just started off and i mean with this whole with the baywatch opening with the dolphins and the and the and the i don't know the the camera angle of of you know like an angel going through the water and 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 swimming through it with all that strength and 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 gravitas was just it was just overkill i don't even remember the show that well i mean i know it was a mega hit and you know that's where they thought that audience would be maybe this this movie is probably going to make some good money you know in all those other countries but it did its thing in america it came and it went there's no way in the world that's going to come back but overseas though it was a mega beast of a thing so i don't know a friend's movie made more sense than putting this together now you got the team of zach efron and the rock now is it just heavy on the cheese because it's supposed to be heavy on the cheese on purpose because they're really trying to make fun of a show that today's generation just does not connect to i mean you're only going to get a few people going oh yeah they're trying to you know milk what they used to do on the show the the stupid plots that that the, the these lifeguards are taking themselves so seriously you know going undercover i mean you're not the law enforcement i mean this is I mean, this just doesn't make sense today. This stuff worked well in the 90s, but nowadays, like, call the cops, dude. There's terrorists out there, man. Stop messing around. Major crimes that are only somehow happening on uh, on the beach. You might as well make a movie about Night Boat, that, 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 that thing on The Simpsons where they had that Night Rider ripoff where it was uh, Night Boat, and every time the criminals got away... On uh, you know on land there was always a canal with a boat. I mean anybody who remembers that episode? No, you don't exactly. That's how this movie felt. There was some funny ass stuff on that Simpsons episode. You probably saw it, but do you really remember Nightboat? Are you googling it now? That's exactly what it, I mean. I only saw what there was what, what two cameos. You knew the Hoff was going to be in it. You knew Pamela was going to make an entrance. They gave. I don't know what happened in the negotiations and whatnot, but that whole thing with Mitch talking to Mitch thing, he's my mentor and whatnot. I, you saw it coming a mile away, but even when it finally happened, you know, you know, you know, you have to have that scene where, you know, you're a loose cannon, Mitch, you know, you're fired, get, turn in your trunks and, you know, you got to get a job working at Sprint and you're not, you could, but you're a lifeguard. You're the right, you're, you're about saving people. You don't belong in a Sprint store. And then, then the original Mitch appears, say, well, you know, he's not pretty old. like Obi-Wan Kenobi. What the hell are you doing? And it's like, is he a ghost? Is David Hassel? OK, he's there. OK, those people see him. That, that, that I was conf that was the most confusing part of the movie. So and then Pamela brings her ass in at the very end. No lines. No lines. But they they milk the whole slow motion thing on purpose. I mean, I, I don't know what what it was that she was even doing there. I mean, even for a cameo, uh, it was just ridiculous. Let me, I'm going to break down each uh, delivery one by one. I already talked about Zach, The Rock. The, the weird part about this movie was when The Rock's character was removed from the team for a little while, the movie kind of got a little bit better. And that's weird to say. Cause that just proves to me that The Rock should not have been in this movie. Uh, be an executive producer, great. Do a, do what you did with um, what was that movie that uh, with Mark Wahlberg where you and Samuel L. Jackson died like right in the beginning? Now that was awesome, but what the hell were you doing in this movie, man? It's, I mean, you playing Mitch just didn't work for me. It just it was just weird. Um, 
Priyanka Chopra. I don't watch that show that she's on, but I I don't know. I mean, she's a very, very beautiful girl. Um, I don't know if she's supposed to be funny on, on the other shows. I don't know how much comedy she's done. It was kind of, it was, I don't think comedy's her thing. I mean, I, I don't know. I just think that the, the, the whole thing with her and her henchmen was just, it was just boring. I just couldn't get into it. And every, I just couldn't see her as a villain. Maybe she's a great hero, whatever she is on her show, but as a villain, it just didn't work for me. And I don't know. I just, that's, that's the best I'm going to give it. Alexander Daddario, uh, come back working with the rock again after, uh, what they did with San Andreas and, and whatnot. I was hoping that they would do like some kind of a little joke where it's like, she's like a daughter to me, man. You know, cause you know, Zac Efron was totally trying to hit that. The second she, you know, got on the screen, it was like, I lit up. I mean, I don't know what it is about this actress. She, she lifts the whole movie up to me and just, and just, I just enjoy uh, watching her. Not for the obvious reasons. Very, very pretty lady and everything. Okay, get that out the way. But it's just something about her presence. It's just, I feel like she's a star. A very, very big, bright, shining star. And then that should be looked into. She should be doing more. And I hope uh, that happens. Um, don't know much about uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly Roback and um, the, the C.J. Parker character. I don't know much about the C.J. Parker character. She was uh, funny. I mean, her awkward moments with the uh, the goofball, I'll get into him later, um, were, were good. She's very, I mean, all the pretty ladies in this show, they did their thing. They're very, very pretty, you know, and, and you know, great. But uh, it was just okay. The jokes were not landing at all. I found myself, not for just with her performance, but just overall. Not, I'm not just picking on her. Overall, the, jo the jokes were just weren't landing at hard, and it was just, I found myself bored. Uh, the only time it got interesting was when it got, you know, sexual. And, you know, that's just because I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm just wired that way. I mean, that's the way she was hot. So uh, that's, that kept my interest, I guess. It kept me from falling asleep. Um, that's something interesting about uh what's it if uh, how you say her name Il Ilfin Il Il Ilfinish uh Hadira playing uh the Stephanie character. Um because there was a little chemistry between her and the rock. And um I mean talking about the characters. And that was obvious from the beginning. You could see that coming a mile away. They had a little moment, but nothing went you know with it. But she was um she was an ass kicker, man. I could see her in an action movie. I mean, a better action movie than this was supposed to try to be. Well, I mean, she seems like she I was, I don't know, something about her that I felt like she was underused, that maybe she should have had more action scenes, some more kick-ass scenes or something like that, and um, and, and do a little butt kick, do more butt kicking, because there was something about her, man. I don't know what it is. It's just, I just see her kicking a lot of ass, and maybe I got to look back into her uh, IMDB page, because if I missed cut that because you know some dickhead always has to try to be a punk ass you know with his truck you know, I, mean, I live in texas you know if you got a big ass you know truck you know you gotta you you, you gotta rev you gotta rev it up it's just what it's just what they do and when i say they you know what i mean assholes so uh she uh <laughs> she just i feel like she needs to be in more action movies she's an action star i can feel it i can feel it uh John Boss, uh, I heard that he was trying his best to uh, to rip off some other actors in these kinds of comedies and whatnot. The Wedding Ringer came to mind, and um, Super Bad came to mind, and maybe. I'm not going to name the actors, but I know you you probably already figured out who I'm thinking about. No, not Kevin Hart. No. <laughs> uh, no, not Seth Green. Uh, no, Seth McFarlane. So who am I thinking about? Seth. Is it Green? No, it's not Seth Green. Rogan. But his, I don't know, man. His His character was not necessary at all. Not at all. And you saw the hook up or what his reward at the end that was you know it came a mile away um the only time he made me laugh was when he finally got laid and he did what us guys do when we celebrate yes did it 
you know, and she's like, I saw that. But I mean, that joke has even been done before. A while ago it was cool and, and but not but 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 now it's like oh man I, I even I was like she probably can see him still and yeah you know, so you know straight up she did I told you man I'm spoiling the shit out of this I don't care because I don't think that many people are gonna see this movie and you're probably gonna be like oh good I I got some spoilers in it's it's exactly like the TV show and it, it at times it, it felt like there was moments where they were making fun of the TV show then it felt like it was getting serious like this like the like the the team element thing was 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 great but i mean i know that was an element in the tv show as well but it's just i don't know you hear people say all the time like this what this movie didn't know what it was trying to be and then it felt like it was directed by two different people or whatever or three different people that's exactly what was happening first it was feeling like it was just all right we're just gonna make fun of the, the the tv show we're just gonna we're just going to be cheesy on purpose and we're going to like really, but there's a way to do that. They put the, their, the finger on that button and they kept lifting it off and whatnot, trying to give a message and stuff, you know, you know, like, of like family, like I said, there it goes again. We're a family. There's that word again. Everybody's trying to be the fast and the furious talking about the family and just stop. Like, like, dude, like just, it was stop. I'm like, stop preaching. Like I'm being, I'm being bored. I don't need a pep talk right now, man. Just just boobs and and seawater, man. Just give me the boobs and give me the, give me some uh some salty water, man. That's all I want. I came here for, man. Come on, like really, like I'm not gonna learn the lesson. Like like what what lesson am I gonna learn? And like, come on, man. I I know not though. Don't be a dick. Okay, good. Now bounce those. That's all I was looking for. But now, I had to get a message. But yeah, well. And then there was uh, I'm gonna butcher his name. Uh. Uh, Yaya Mateen. I'm gonna say Mr. Mateen from the Get Down. Now, as much as a dick or an asshole that he plays on the Get Down and whatnot, like he plays a cop that was just like I was thinking the whole time maybe he was the, uh, gonna be the villain or whatever. And no, no, he's the cop that's on the level that's that's really just getting into it with the Rock because you know you're just a lifeguard and I'm really a fucking cop, but. I mean, come on, dude. If that was the case, then arrest these guys. Why are they still allowed to be out there on the beach then? If they're, if they're interfering with police work, arrest them. I mean, it's not that hard, man. It's like this this whole movie was just going too far. And just it's, it, I found myself in the middle of a comedy begging for some realism. Like, come on, man. The thing that's taking me out of this situation is the fact that you're not doing something a real cop would do. I know you're just, I know you're an actor. I know you're not really a cop. I know this is a movie, but that's obstruction of justice. You're interfering with an investigation. Um, I mean, I was, I was thinking these things the whole time. I, I checked my phone once. I left it on. And I never do that. Phone rang. I checked it. I'm like, who's calling? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm in a movie. I thought, you know. I was sitting next to the steps where the lights are, so I was I put the phone next to the light where it wouldn't disturb anybody and I text them back and whatnot. So I mean I wasn't gonna mess that move the movie up, but I was that bored. And yeah, uh, but he but his performance was the back and forth with between him and the rock and whatnot was was one of the best uh things in the uh in the movie. His character was one of the, another one of the best things of the movie and uh so but it was it was weird how i i just expected at the end he was gonna like pull the put the trunks on and join the team quitting the force joining the lifeguards or something like that i thought i don't, I don't know i was thinking that was gonna happen and maybe i missed it maybe that did happen after the you know they showed the bloopers and whatnot and after i didn't even stay for that i saw i saw zach efron i can take a dive but maybe that was his stunt double was like, he took a hit if that was real damn zach i hope you're all right because i heard the whole crowd go ooh, and i was like okay well i hope he's all right i just kept on walking uh this the burger was good that i ate that was good good burger and uh yeah that's what uh that's the Baywatch movie uh so just to recap uh john bass no not so much the, all the ladies they were nice uh the rock ah, he was not my favorite in the movie zach afron uh was but then it's like they the way the i don't know his whole rise to the to the challenge thing would have made sense maybe if the rock would have died but the rock was like dude i'm the franchise god i'm not leaving 
Like that, that happened once in the Doom movie. It's never happening again. And, you know, Zac Efron be damned. You ain't, you know, you're number two. This is a movie that should probably should not have been made. I was excited about it at first, and then I was like, damn. Swing and a miss. The Wedding Ringer was way funnier than this. I like that movie. So, let me know what you guys think, man. I mean, there were some sharks. That was a shark, I think. I think I saw a shark. I can't remember. Yeah, Zac Efron was swimming on a shark. It was funny. He threw up a couple of times, too. And uh, The Rock, I don't think he ever got laid. And he had, like, seven chances. He didn't do it. But, you know, because he was supposed to get with a girl, but he didn't do it. And Pamela Anderson was there. And it was weird. It was weird seeing her there. She's from Hawaii. She's awesome. No lines. She probably came in and said hi. And they even cut that. It felt like that's what happened. That's what I heard. She came in and said, hi, guys. And they're like, cut that shit out. No. Cut that. It went straight to. No, that was The director was like, that was great, Pamela. You still got it. They all oh, smooch. Mm, mm. He didn't put his lips on her at all. And, and just mm, kissed the air. You know, mm, mm. And she left. And he went to the editing room. And he's like, could you cut that line out for me? Uh, and, and dude was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cut that shit right out. And put her in slow motion. And okay, that, that's too slow. Let's speed it up just a tad. Just a tad. Don't need her to be on camera that long. Nobody remembers barbed wire oh my god so yeah david hasselhoff too many lines too many lines man i'm sorry this is this is i feel like this review is running on too long this i'm giving this too much of my time let me know what you guys think are you gonna see this movie you are well let me know what you think about it right here and let me know as soon as possible go damn chris thanks for spoiling that shit I wasn't going to see it anyway, but you're an asshole for spoiling it. You're welcome, dude. Yeah, I'm talking to you. So, uh, comment. Hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, Tom. And uh, till next time. Peace. I'll be ready.